ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ್ ನಷ್ಟಪ್ರಾಯೇಶ್ವ ಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತೇರುತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಟಿ ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿರಂಧ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಖಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರೋನ್ಮಿಲಿ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪಕದಾಮಹ್ಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಕದಾಂತಿ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರೂನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹಗಣರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದಾನ್ ಸಹಗಣಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯೆ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಪ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಾಸಾದಿಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಕೆ <clears throat> yeah so we're reading from canto 1 chapter 7 verse 6 so just remind all of us last week we understood how due to external energy the living entity although transcendental to the three modes of material nature thinks of himself as a material product and thus undergoes the reactions of material miseries and so whatever happiness or suffering that we are experiencing are all actually being experienced by the material product which is the body but the living entity the atma which is transcendental to the three modes because the atma is thinking of itself as the body or the material product it is undergoing reactions of material miseries so these have this happiness and misery is actually not affecting the soul but because we are in illusion we are thinking we are this material body we are experiencing these reactions and like i said the body is literally dead because it's a bag of chemicals and it's only because of the atma which pervades the entire body that there is a feeling of pain and pleasure and so left to the body by itself can't experience any pain or pleasure left to the atma by itself is sachidananda is eternally happy so when the atma comes in touch with the body is when the pains and pleasures are actually experienced as mine so one has to transcend the three modes that is why krishna in bhagavad gita say, tells arjuna raigunya vishaya veda nistray gunyo bhav arjuna okay so this is actually a b c d of krishna consciousness or really of our existence uh, who we are we are the atma we are not the body happiness and distress is happening to the body and not to us 
but because we are thinking we are uh, the body we are also becoming part of that happiness and misery okay so this we discussed last week so today we will proceed from here verse 6 अनर्थोपशम साक्षात् भक्तियोगम मदोक्षजे लोकस्याजानतो विद्वाम् चक्रे सात्वत संहिताम् द मटेरियल मिसरीज सो कंटिन्यूइंग फ्रॉम लास्ट वर्स द मटेरियल मिसरीज ऑफ द लिविंग एंटिटी व्हिच आर सुपरफ्लुएस सुपरफ्लुएस मींस एक्चुअली प्रोपाद इज ट्रांसलेटिंग अनर्थ एज सुपरफ्लुएस सुपरफ्लुएस इज एक्चुअली इट्स not directly connected it's a ex external or uh, in some sense ex uh, when something is artificial or external you know it's, it's not really innate it's not an innate attribute of the living entity so it's coming from outside superfluous to him can be directly mitigated so the material miseries can be directly mitigated by what by the linking process of devotional service so in the first canto 7th chapter only there is conclusion what needs to be done parikshit maharaj will ask in the future that answer is already given saying if one wants to come out of these material miseries one has to engage in bhakti but the mass of people do not know this vyasadev is rating right mass of people do not know this okay this is sudha uh, goswami i think Mass of people do not know this, and therefore the learned Vyasa Deva compiled this Vedic literature, which is in relation to the supreme truth. So, what is the reason why Sri La Vyasa Deva compiled uh, Bhagavatam? Is because people don't know about the fact that one can come out of material miseries by practicing devotional service. Hmm. directly mitigated but today people in the material world they are also trying to mitigate their material miseries in a indirect way in the sense symptomatically <clears throat> people are trying to mitigate their misery so okay if there is a particular problem this is the direct solution to this problem hence i'm trying to mitigate my misery by getting rid of the problem but actually here it is being said direct mitigation only happens when one engages in devotional service mm, this is actually a very deep statement because one might think okay if i am hungry i am eating so that is the direct process now if i am hungry and i am doing bhakti how will that mitigate my misery of hunger it will mitigate by taking us to a position or stage where we will no longer feel material hunger as in we will realize that we don't belong to this material world hunger is because there is a material body when the body becomes spiritualized there is no question of hunger right all our acharyas they never used to eat never used to sleep and they used to function right more perfectly more extensively than possibly uh, any anybody else any other normal human being because they were running on spiritual energy they did not require food or anything that the material body requires so direct mitigation is actually by devotional service and so this whole literature bhagavatam was written only to make people understand this that material misery is a reality of this material world mitigation only happens by devotional service now one might ask okay i am engaged in devotional service but i am not seeing any mitigation of my miseries that is just the you know like post treatment recovery process right so post operative recovery process right so some residues of those miseries will be there that is just to kind of help us completely Uh, pull us out of this material attachment that we are in right so uh, somewhat it has a semblance of material misery but actually it's not real material misery because we are already you know uh, we already got the treatment done and so taking up devotion service is like like beginning of the treatment 
and as much as we progress that much we have made progress in the treatment so not required that the mis miseries continue to exist as they were before we started devotional service right so it's important to understand that actually mitigation is happening but just that you know we maybe are not able to relate to it right so purport um Prabhupada is writing a purport. Mm, one beautiful statement in the purport. Revival of the dormant affection or love of Godhead does not depend on the mechanical system of hearing and chanting. But it solely and wholly depends on the causeless mercy of the Lord. Many times we think, okay, I'm doing chanting, I'm doing hearing, okay, I have to get love of Godhead. No, love of Godhead will come only by Lord's mercy. When the Lord is fully satisfied, with the sincere efforts of the devotee, he may endow him with his loving transcendental service. But even with the prescribed forms of hearing, but even with the sincere efforts of the devotee, he may, end, uh, sorry, Lord is fully satisfied with the sincere devotee, the sincere efforts of the devotee, he may endow him with his loving devotional service. But even with the prescribed forms of hearing and chanting, there is at once mitigation of the superfluous and unwanted miseries of material existence. Even with the prescribed forms of hearing and chanting, there is at once mitigation of the superfluous and unwanted miseries of material existence. So this is actually Brahma Bhuta, right? This is this is the stage of mukti, liberation from material miseries. So just by doing this hearing chanting, even if love of Krishna doesn't come about, right? Because that depends on the mercy of Krishna. But Brahma Bhuta or mitigation of material miseries is a given side effect. Is a given side effect. So Prabhupada is quoting this because when we're talking about mitigation of material misery, simply hearing and chanting will take us to the stage where we will be free from all miseries. Right, which is literally a side effect. Mm. Um, and love of God, it will depend on the mercy of the Lord. Mm. So we have to remember this, that bhakti um, is the direct process for mitigation. And that is the only option for Jiva to get rid of the material miseries. Okay. Verse 7. Actually, uh, one more point here, right? So, uh, actually, the Sanskrit, if you see Anartha, I said, right? Anartha. So, uh, the different stages of progress in Bhakti. Adav Shraddha Tata Sadhu Sangha. Atha Bhajana Kriya Tatha Anartha Nivruti. So we have to uh, cross this stage called Anartha Nivruti, where all the Anarthas, Artha is something which is required or useful, uh, valuable, Artha. Anartha is something which is not required, not valuable. So Anartha Upashamam. Upashamam, Anartha Upashamam or Anartha Nivruti, both of them are same. So how does Anartha Nivruti happen? By Sadhu Sangha. Hmm. So only when we take shelter of the lotus feet of the Guru and uh, serve in the association of Prabhupada says, like-minded devotees. This is also a very important word. Somehow, sometimes, you know, we are very sentimental about association. But actually, Prabhupada says like-minded. What does like-minded mean? Like-minded means that there are different types of devotees, different intents to do devotional service or, you know, what they want to achieve, how they want to do it. All of there are various paths. Like Kapil, De, Kapil Muni tells Devahuti, that uh, person in the mode of goodness does bhakti in the mode of goodness. Person in the mode of passion does bhakti in mode of passion. Though bhakti is transcendental, bhakti is not connected to the modes. Right? But 
because the person is in mode of goodness his bhakti is in mode of goodness person is in mode of passion his bhakti is in mode of passion hmm. so um like minded means those who are in the mode of passion will want to associate with those in the mode of passion and right? those in the mode of ignorance will want to associate with those with the mode of ignorance um of course in the sense it's not saying that we should uh, in like minded in the sense like okay i want to make progress i am in mode of passion i want to come to mode of goodness okay then i will associate with those devotees who are either trying to do the same or who have already done that and who also want to do it so if i want to do it seriously then i also should associate with those devotees who are going to do it seriously or who have done it seriously right so um so that is also key now otherwise uh, we can see devotees in practicing bhakti for a long time but not seeing much change in themselves that is just because by ourselves we are hrudaya durbalyam we are weakness of heart <clears throat> we are not strong enough maya seems to seems to us to be very very powerful <clears throat> well it's true daiviyesha gunamai mama maya durate maameva ye prapadyante maya medam tarantite maameva ye prapadyante but those who take shelter of krishna it's very easy for them to uh, or kam maya which is basically just illusion so anartha upashamam also happens by the process of hearing chanting in the association of devotees like many devotees and under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master okay so that is complete understanding of topa samam okay yasyam vai stuyamanayam krishne parama purushe bhaktir utpadyate pumsa lokam moha bayapaha simply by giving oral reception to this vedic literature the feeling for loving devotional service to lord krishna the supreme person of godhead sprouts up at once they extinguish the fire of lamentation illusion and fearfulness simply by giving oral reception we don't have to do anything simply by hearing this vedic literature bhagavatam what happens feeling for loving devotional service to lord krishna sprouts up sprouts up at once and so if you are hearing this bhagavatam then love for krishna should sprout up and then that will extinguish the fire of lamentation illusion and fearfulness see again this statement is an absolute reality meaning that it is possible for somebody to achieve this hmm so it is like i take the medicine it is po- possible that i get cured okay lost power here so if i take the medicine i am <clears throat> it is possible that i uh, recover from my condition but depends on how properly am i taking the medicine right if i'm taking the medicine at the wrong time or if i'm not following the dosage etc etc there is no guarantee that it will work for us right so similarly this um yesterday i was reading one quote from his holiness kadam kanan swami maharaj who you know went to the spiritual world right so he was saying that while we commit the time of initiation we commit to 16 rounds standing we don't commit to minimum reading right so he was saying if one reads at least one hour a day then this is possible so but it is simply the oral reception simply oral reception simply hearing meditating on this shrimad bhagavatam meditating on the beautiful purport that shri prabhupada has written 
feeling for loving devotional service will sprout up actually if you do the process properly it will sprout up at once and once the feeling for loving devotional service to krishna sprouts up then it will extinguish the fire of lamentation it will not extinguish the lamentation it will ex- extinguish the fire as in in the sense like even if there are miseries we don't really experience it or we are not affected by it because that is also one of the attributes of bhava prema so it will extinguish eventually it will actually extinguish completely like the fire will be doused there will be no more fire of lamentation illusion fearfulness because that is all connected to the body so once a person comes to the stage of loving devotional service now it is only a feeling of feeling of devotional service so it there is a initial stage and then there is a complete stage so initial stage it will the process will start you know from nishta ruchi asakti process will start and when prema bhava and prema is reached actually when prema is reached complete extinction happens extinguish it gets completely extinguished mm. <clears throat> okay so propa is saying everyone is full of lamentation at every moment mm. it seems exaggerated but it's true Uh, full of lamentation at every moment he is after the mirage of illusory things every person is after the Ill- mirage of illusory things even we are uh, you know after the mirage of illusory things and that is why we still continue to experience lamentation illusion fearfulness etc even though we are engaged in oral reception because this is like we are holding on to the we we are trying to go and touch the fire right it will burn so because we are after mirage of mirage of illusory things so we experience lamentation so which means that um if we are able to um through transcendental knowledge through the practice of bhakti realize that i am not this body and everything connected with this body is not really mine but is temporarily mine from a you point of it being my responsibility and nothing more not emotional attachment then we we stop running behind this mirage of illusory things then the lamentation stops right so we should try to understand this so the lamentation is there because i want to get attached to this material thing so i'm intentionally attached to material things when i'm intentionally attached to material things then i get affected so that is the prabhupada is saying these are the primary symptoms of the material disease so we are still in the diseased condition uh, so when we are in the diseased condition we are affected by lamentation illusion fear etc the cure for coming out of the diseased condition is practice of bhakti right and here this verse is saying simply by it's so powerful bhagavatam uh, that feeling of loving devotional service for the lord sprouts up at once so that is the treatment so propati saying and it is definitely suggested here in that simply by hearing one gets attachment for the supreme lord and as soon as this is affected the symptoms of the material disease appear disappear so this attachment to the material lord attachment to the lord has to happen attachment to krishna has to happen and if we give proper oral reception to bhagavantam that attachment will happen that we'll get attracted by krishna we'll get attached to krishna we'll get attached to krishna service and as soon as we get attached to krishna service then the symptoms of material disease will disappear but it doesn't happen overnight for various reasons technically we can as you un- understand that one who is um 24 hours in in engaged in krishna service that person is already jivan mukta sauchate he is already a jivan mukta he is already liberated but still there might be some symptoms of uh, suffering illusion lamentation etc right that is just 
complete krishna is just purifying that soul that's all right but it's very very clear by giving oral reception feeling of loving devotion service attachment to krishna will sprout up see by the process of chanting also we can accomplish this but the problem with chanting is that we are not very focused on our inner chanting right mind goes here and there so we are doing offensive chanting we can experience that only if we do offenseless chanting right but that takes time at least we'll be doing nama bhasa chanting and in nama bhasa which is you know full of inattentive chanting um but uh, hearing shrimad bhagavatam is not like chanting because in chanting sometimes we get bored of course even in hearing people get bored uh, but it is less i mean less of a possibility that we get distracted by hearing but while chanting it's very like you know we start and then next moment we are gone one thing here is there is so much of new information to hear so many practical things to understand trying you know try to apply them in our lives etc our mind is engaged busily engaged in trying to focus on what is being told what propada is written in his purports and right by chanting anyway okay i know hari krishna maha mantra i don't have to exert my brain for that it's naturally automatically coming from my mouth so then my mind doesn't have work so then it will start wandering here and there and so even though krishna's name is not different from krishna and which is also not different from shrimad bhagavatam because they're all absolute and all of them can give us love of krishna uh but the hearing process is actually works far better on conditioned souls to bring them to the cha- status of actually good chanting also so shavanam is like super critical <clears throat> so propadi saying here loving devotional service to the lord begins with hearing about the lord there is no difference between the lord and the subject matter heard about him the lord is absolute in all respects and thus there is no difference between him and the subject matter heard it doesn't mean that um it's impersonal lord it's mayavad okay it's all not like that right like lord is also present <clears throat> but when we because uh, lord's name is also transcendental so it has the same power lord's form is transcendental so it has the same power subject about the lord is also transcendental so, so it has the same power as in krishna's bestowed the same potency in everything connected to him so everything can have the same impact on us hmm? therefore hearing about him means immediate contact with him by the process of vibration of the transcendental sound immediate contact hmm? and the transcendental sound is so effective that it acts at once by removing all material affections mentioned above uh, so this is the potency of hearing it it so it act, it acts at once by removing all material affection so we can imagine saying that do propadi is saying this if we are not experiencing this really we are not hearing the transcendental sound hmm. as mentioned before a living entity develops a sort of complexity by material association the illusory engagement of the material body is accepted as an actual fact this we already discussed under such false complexity the living beings under different categories of life become illusioned in different ways become illusioned in different ways even in the most developed stage of human life the same illusion prevails in the form of many isms and divides the loving relation with the lord and thereby divides the loving relationship between man and man by hearing the subject matter of shrimad bhagavatam this false complexity of materialism is removed so yeah false conception of material complexity of materialism is removed that's like a immediate side effect which is this jeevan mukta liberated right but the actual effect uh, is love of krishna so hearing is so powerful like propad is saying we come in immediate contact with the lord but we should remember right even being in immediate contact with the lord like chota haridas who was associate of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu even though he was in direct contact with supreme lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he fell because he misused this free will so just being in contact doesn't mean that you know we our contact is like 
not pure contact so we are simply externally we are in contact that will not help so a little bit of involvement is required right like we should do it properly then like if iron rod is in the fire then it will become fire if it is properly in contact right but if somebody is kept it then taking it out then keeping it then taking it out uh, intermittently then it might but it might take a long time but if you keep the iron rod in fire continuously without disturbing it then it will become fire it will catch fire right as in it will become as good as fire the same thing with devotional service the process can actually turn us it can make us transcend right but we don't completely we we are not in touch with the lord all the time we are in touch with the lord then we are in touch with maya for a longer time uh, so that is where the problem happens but the point about these verses is we should understand how powerful the process is the process will work there is no doubt right and as a side effect the material miseries will anyway get extinguished but more important for us is actually his love for love of krishna which is the mercy of the lord but for which also the process of hearing and chanting is extremely critical Okay, verse eight. संहिता भागवती कृत्वाक्रम्य चात्मज शुकम अद्यापयामास निवृत्ति निरत मुनि द ग्रेट सैज व्यास देव आफ्टर कंपाइलिंग द श्रीमद भागवतम एंड रिवाइजिंग इट टॉट इट टू हिज ओन सन श्री शुकदेव गोस्वामी हू वॉज ऑलरेडी एंगेज इन सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन इज एक्चुअली व्यास देव हेड ऑलरेडी रिटर्न ऑल द पुराणा बिफोर ओनली राइट सो just that even shrimad bhagavatam at that point of time was not focused on the supreme lord it was just like the other satva guna puranas so when narada muni comes and tells vyasadev then he revises it that is why the word revising it is a he revises it so he makes it more focused on devotional service more focused on krishna then what did vyasadev do he taught it to his son sri shukadev goswami was already engaged in self realization uh, he was already engaged in self realization so he had already reached brahma bhuta mm, he had already reached brahma bhuta stage so he was a liberated person so even though he was a liberated person he still learned bhagavatam he still studied bhagavatam right so which means that it is there for all types of transcendentalists the so, prapad here writes this brahma sutra or vedanta sutra is meant for those who are already engaged in self realization who are already engaged in self realization and like basically the gnana process so then they will read the vedanta sutra athato brahma jignasa tatvamasi so all these sutras they will try to understand because it is giving us an understanding of reality now shrimad bhagavatam is so made that one becomes at once engaged in the path of self realization simply by hearing the topics so shrimad bhagavatam the beauty of shrimad bhagavatam is even though one is not engaged in self realization be, meaning that we can we can gift bhagavatam give bhagavatam to anybody who is possibly not has no connection with krishna no connection with bhakti no connection with self realization nothing you just give anybody from you know out of nowhere you just give the person shrimad bhagavatam and he starts reading then he will get become automatically engaged in the path of self realization without him even even knowing right and it is said actually in the initial mangala charan only so we saw that it is for it's a paramahamsa samhita it is especially meant for paramahamsas or those who are totally engaged in self realization but it works into the depths of hearts of those who may be worldly men worldly men are engaged in sense gratification but even such men will find this vedic literature remedial measure for their material diseases so simply hearing without even knowing what like taking a medicine without even knowing what it's supposed to do medicine will still act and so we have to read shrimad bhagavatam every day we have to read minimum 1 hour 
right and then whomever we are we want to give we are close to or we want their welfare in this world or whatever just give them bhagavatam and tell them start every day read for 15 minutes then after 3 months say read for 30 minutes uh, no for us to be telling this to somebody else we should be doing it ourselves if you are doing it then our words will carry the power and so we should do that one hour at least so even though he was a he was already engaged in self self, self realization he still heard it from his father and that is described elsewhere also that uh, actually how chukadev goswami gets attracted to shrimad bhagavatam he hear some verses from the 10th canto actually what vyasadev does vyasadev would have already uh, you know read bhagavatam to chukadev goswami when he was in his mother's womb right so he already heard bhagavatam but uh, then after he comes out vyasadev makes it a point to teach him he actually is through somebody he describes the glorious uh, character of krishna and when shukadev gosam actually hears this from the 10th canto he is immediately attacked attracted to krishna and his you know at, uh, features attributes his guna and leela he becomes attracted and then that attack attraction results in him going and studying the whole bhagavatam in more detail so he studies from vedavyas right and because vyasadev himself was a devotee so that association had a powerful impact on chukadev goswami then so from being a monist um uh everything is one uh, he understood oh no krishna is there krishna exists krishna has a form krishna has qualities krishna has past times krishna is beautiful and then you know he just got attracted he understood oh okay okay this is not brahman you have to come to bhagavan stage so so powerful bhagavatam is that you know like people who are completely stuck on monism on you know brahman they also get attracted to personal feature of the lord and for those who are not interested at all in say if suppose say you call people to bhagavad gita class and tell them a philosophy and this and that people might not be interested but you give them bhagavatam and tell them to read if they are if they have the habit of reading you just give them bhagavatam and tell them to read automatically they'll become devotees super powerful right and it all of us should do this we should you know read it ourselves and gift it like i said or convince others to buy get a copy home get krishna home in the form of shrimad bhagavatam and then it'll work it'll just work shonako vacha savai nivritti niratha sarvo sarvatropeksha komunihi kasya pa prahatim etam atma rama samabhyasat is shonaka asuta goswami ishukadev goswami was already on the path of self realization and thus he was pleased with his own self so why did he take the trouble to undergo the study of such a vast literature so here propat explains the meaning of atma rama atma rama as are completely indifferent to material enjoyment in every respect so shukadev goswami was atma rama he is completely indifferent to material enjoyment shila shukadev goswami had already attained the stage and still he was attracted to undergo the trouble of studying the great bhagavatam literature this means that shrimad bhagavatam is a post graduate study even for atma ramas or suppose surpassed all the studies of vedic knowledge so it will attract everybody it will attract a karmi gnani and of course it attracts devotees tutavacha 
ಆತ್ಮಾರಾಮಶ್ಚ ಮುನಯೋ ನಿಗ್ರಂಥಾವ್ ಅಪಿ ಉರುಕ್ರಮೇ ಕುರ್ವಂತ್ಯಹಿತ್ ಅಹೈತು ಕೀಂ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇತ್ತಂ ಭೂತ ಗುಣೋ ಹರಿ ಸುತ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಟೇಕ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆತ್ಮ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದೋಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಡೋ ಫ್ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಂಡೇಜ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ರೆಂಡರ್ ಅನ್ಅಲಾಯ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಅನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಚುಕದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಮ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮ ಬಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲ್ ಪರತರ ಪರತ ರಾಮ ಪರತ ರಾಮ ಪರತ ರಾಮತ ಪರತ ರಾಮತ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮತ ಪರತ ರಾಮತ ಹ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪರತ ರಾಮತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹೀ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಡಸ್ ಈ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಇ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಗೋಲೋಕ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ಪರತ ರಾಮ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ನೌ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಹೀಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ರಾಮ ಬಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಪರತ ರಾಮ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಹೀ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಪರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ವೆರಿ ವಿವಿಡ್ಲಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಸನಾತನ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ Mm, so it's a very technical as so i'm not going to go into this you can please read the purport for this mm, so there are 11 factors here atma rama munaya nigranta api cha urukrama kurvanti ahaitu kim bhaktim ittam bhuta guna guna and harihi uh, so there's like a lot of te- technical each and every word multiple meanings uh, how you know so like if there are two words and each word has two meanings suddenly you have four meanings because of four combinations so like that 11 words each of them some of them have seven meanings uh, like that right so uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu explains it in like multiple ways in many ways uh, so and uh, so that's a it's a different discussion for those who are very philosophically inclined but here from a practical perspective propada has written a beautiful purport so i'll go through this unalloyed devotional service of the lord progresses in progresses in different stages practice of devotional service in the material field is of 81 different qualities now what is this 81 different qualities satva guna rajo guna tamo guna multiplied by satva guna rajo guna tamo guna again multiplied by 3 so there are 81 different qualities 81 different combinations ಸತ್ವ ರಜ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ತಮಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಏಟಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬೌ ಸಚ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೋಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇನ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೋಪಾತ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಏಟಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ uh somebody who is on the material field will practice devotion service in one of these 81 ways right but above such activities is the transcendental practice this is to the bhakti right kevala bhakti
uh, actually there are nine stages in this nine different progressive stages of loving service mm. but for somebody who is still on the material platform there are 80 and 81 different qualities right in way in in which he can practice bhakti so which is not shuddha bhakti it is not shuddha bhakti which is mishra bhakti the attachment of an inactive devotee shanta inactive devotee develops up to the stage of transcendental love of god so he can come up to like prema uh, attachment of an active servitor develops up to the stage of adherence adherence uh, means anuraga right and that for a friendly devotee sakya goes up to the stage of following oh following is anuraga sorry adherence is raga pranaya raga hmm? and the same is also the case for parental devotees who can go up to anuraga devotees in conjugal love develop ecstasy up to the stage of intense feeling of separation so that is why conjugal love is considered as a topmost because one who is comes to conjugal love goes up to mahabhava hmm. great sages such as the four bachelor devotees sanaka sanatana sanandana sanat kumara were attracted by the fragrance of flowers and tulsi leaves anointed with the pulp of sandalwood offered at the lotus feet of the lord so they were just attracted by the fragrance of tulsi and flowers similarly shukadev goswami was attracted by the transcendental pastimes of, uh, of the lord shukadev goswami was already situated in the liberated stage yet he was attracted by the pastimes of the lord this proves that the quality of his pastimes has nothing to do with material affinity similarly the young cowherd damsels were attracted by the bodily features of the lord and rukmini was attracted by hearing about the glories of the lord lord krishna attracts even the mind of goddess of fortune he attracts in special cases the minds of all young girls he attracts the minds of the elderly ladies by parental affection he attracts the minds of the males in humors of servitude and friendship no this is not like this is not like a rule that it has to happen like this generally it is said and in and this is mostly is uh, propad is writing in conjunction in the spiritual world mm-hmm. young gopis are attracted by krishna most of the males are attracted in either servitude or friendship mm-hmm. and elderly ladies are in vatsalya uh, so krishna will attract everybody krishna attracts everybody so we will also get attracted by some aspect of krishna but how how do we know what aspect of krishna we are being attracted for which we have to hear about krishna that is why shila propad gave krishna book one who reads krishna book automatically as they are reading uh, they will develop some feelings for krishna some aspect some leelas they get more attracted some le- than other leelas etc etc and automatically we will start getting attracted towards some aspects features of krishna qualities of krishna age of krishna hmm. krishna is ageless but he has age uh, balya uh, komara yavana pauganda koma balya pauganda komara yavana hmm. the word hari conveys various meanings but the chief import of the word is that he vanquishes everything inauspicious and takes away the mind of the devotee by awarding him pure transcendental love hari he takes away everything inauspicious from the devotee so when we are chanting the name of hari how can he take away anything auspicious from us he will never take away anything auspicious from us he will only take away inauspicious things from us hmm. but we don't know what is inauspicious for us so we are looking at something which is actually inauspicious and thinking that it is auspicious and then we are thinking oh krishna why is krishna taking away this which is so auspicious for me no it's actually inauspicious so he is taking it away right by remembering the lord in acute distress one can be free from all varieties of miseries and anxiety so this is like a practical thing you know remembering in acute distress you know when you are really in deep trouble we just immediately we can become free from all miseries and anxieties by just thinking about krishna and we can sit in front of krishna's photo we can chant his name we can hear kirtan whatever works for us and then just you know take shelter of krishna 
and just sit in front of Krishna's photo and or deities and pray to him, talk to him, whatever it is. It will immediately free us. Krishna Surya Sama, Maya Hai Andakar, Tahan Krishna Taha Nahi Maya Radhikar. So Krishna is Surya Sama, he is like full light, brightness, happiness. That is Krishna. Maya Andakar. Maya is darkness. But where there is Krishna, there is no Maya. There is no darkness. There is no illusion. There is no misery. But again, this means that when we are in misery, we should remember Krishna. That is why Prabhupada said, don't take away the chanting beads from your hand. Because otherwise we will forget Krishna. We should remember Krishna. How do we remember Krishna? By chanting Krishna. Hare Krishna's name. Gradually, the Lord vanquishes all obstacles on the path of, a, of devotion and service of a pure devotee. Gradually. Why? Because he can, he, can, he can do it immediately. But we don't have, we don't want it first. Second, we might not have the ability to tolerate it. If all obstacles have to be removed at one shot. So he will gradually do it. Now, gradually doesn't mean like multiple lifetimes. Uh, gradually means, yeah, okay, something now, something in the next you know, whatever, gradually. Within this lifetime, he will, if he want, we can come to the pure stage. By his personal features and transcendental attributes, the Lord attracts all psychological activities of a pure devotee. All psychological activities, meaning anything connected with the mind, he attracts. Such is the attractive power of Lord Krishna. The attraction is so powerful that a pure devotee never hankers for any one of the four principles of religion, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. So we should see these statements. And the other day, some devotee was telling me, Prabhu, I don't have attraction to Krishna. I said, see, but clearly that means that you're not reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Because if you're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, then there's no way we cannot have attraction to Krishna. Or you're not doing hearing properly. Because if you hear properly about Krishna, we will develop attachment, attraction. Right? We will develop that attraction. And attraction is very powerful. Uh, it, will, it is very powerful. Yes, but we have to develop that attachment. When we develop attachment, we give up this, all this Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, nonsense, and Sarva, Dharma, and Paritya. Because we are attracted by Krishna and say that there's nothing more. I just want Krishna. That's all. I'm ready to do anything for getting him. Krishna is like that. Right? And when in spite of all difficulties we are attracted to Krishna and we want to serve him, that is Gopi Bhava. Gopi is like, what is the stage of Gopi's prema? So many obstacles. Still they want to achieve Krishna. Mm, the Brahmana Patnis. So much of obstacle from their family. Still they want to achieve Krishna. Mm, so this very powerful actually. When we practice bhakti, when we are in distress, you know, then Basically means Krishna is like very powerfully pulling us out of this uh, material uh, stuck here, right? And he's pulling us out. Okay, so I think I'll stop there. If anybody has anything to say, you can kindly do so. Any questions?